witness the terrifying aftermath of a Russian airstrike on one Georgian town. This is Gori in central Georgia, outside the main conflict zone, but now a target in Russia's expanding military campaign. Apartment blocks were left burning. Survivors lay blooded, squatting in the rubble of their destroyed homes. Scenes like this, repeated across Georgia, have prompted the country's president to formally announce a state of war. Today, Russia has launched a full-scale military invasion of Georgia. Russian forces, including air, land, sea and air move forces, are massed against and attacking our sovereign nation. In South Ossetia, the breakaway Georgian region where violence has fled, Russian troops backed by tanks and armoured vehicles are patrolling the streets. There's been some of the region's fiercest fighting here for more than a decade. Russia says as many as 2,000 people may have been killed, though that figure is impossible to verify. The actions of the Georgian leadership in South Ossetia are a crime, and for most, they're a crime against its own people, because a deadly blow has been delivered to the territorial integrity of Georgia, and that means a massive damage to its national identity. It's hard to imagine how, after all that happened, and after all that's still happening, they'll be able to convince South Ossetia to belong to Georgia. And Putin's words touch on one of Georgia's worst fears that Russia could use this conflict to redraw the maps, to recognize breakaway South Ossetia as an independent state. For tiny, fragmented Georgia, it could be the beginning of the end for its reunification hopes. The immediate challenge, though, before any long-term solution, is bringing the terrible violence in this country to an early end. A joint peace delegation, including envoys from the United States and the European Union, is desperately trying to broker some kind of truce, even as fierce fighting in this troubled nation rages on. Matthew Chance, CNN, Tbilisi, Georgia.